So gang, a friend of mine that I refer to in several videos as the Tonka Enthusiast gives me a call, says that there's a friend of his that is going out to one of the local flea markets and this guy had bought some property north of here. And he, the people that he bought the property from emptied out everything they wanted and he was, he hauled off a lot of stuff to Goodwill, but other stuff he was taking to sell at the flea market. And I was told I needed to go out there and check out his stuff. So I head out there and found him and he had this set of HO engines, three cabooses and the box car. The cabooses, you know, Woodside, Katie, Great Northern, and Ruth's Black Hawk Ham. I, this is a Woodside as well. And I, I, I kind of like this caboose. I'm sorry, this box car. And then the caboose is a metal sided caboose. And I kind of like it a lot too. It's, the only thing that's missing is the caboose is missing a, a coupler. Everything else is intact. Everything and they all came in boxes. Some of them are incorrect boxes, but they all came in the AHM boxes. All this is AHM, but primarily I was buying it for the FM engines. So I'm looking at it and I asked the guy, "What did he? What was he asking for?" He was going to ask fifteen dollars for the whole set. So I get to looking at it, and you know I look at the cars first, and then I grabbed the A unit. And it looks really, really good. There's no brakes on it. I don't know if it runs. I need to get the track out and test it. But when I pulled the B unit out, it's hard to tell in this picture, or this view, not picture, but the B unit has an issue. Hold on a second. At one time or another, the B unit experienced a lot of heat. It's the shell is no good. So I'm going to figure out what to do with this shell. Um, don't know yet. I mean, it could have been, you know, a, a display piece on the HO layout I will be building. I haven't started yet. A lot of delays, family delays and the stuff like that. I'm thinking about seeing if I can get to uh, two shells other shells that are undecorated and paint them to match the other engines i've already got because i'm a, i'm a f7 f9 those are my favorite engine and these fms i like them as well i got one set santa fe that i bought oh in the 80s i have a video of those posted as well i think there may be those may as well be ahm i can't recall but i can always go back and look but I'm kind of disappointed that that one's all warped up from the heat. All right, there's the A unit. It's in awesome shape. Nothing's broke on it. No cracks. It doesn't have any heat stress on it as uh, as the other one does, as the B unit does. All right, here's the Katy. Every time I see a railroad car called the Katie I think of the Blues Brothers when they sing the song in the movie she called the Katie and left me a mule to ride <laughs> that's a great movie that's great northern it has sliding doors and both doors are on it a um, lot of a lot of good detail on this I, I really like this box car Ruth's Black Hawk Ham from the land of corn I, I don't know why I like it. It just appeals to me. All right, and there's a the little caboose. As I said, it's only missing one coupler. Now, I, I really like this caboose. It, I just, I just really like it. Now I wanted to show you the panels on the boxes. The, I think this is really cool. And honestly, I want a version of this engine here at that price but awesome this engine is $9.98 <laughs> you got a steam engine for $44.98 another one for $32.98 and another steam engine for $19.88 I prefer diesel air not steam but steam is cool now on the back 
you have prices for all the different types of tracks they offered and uh, and uh, and controller switch as a controller now on the back of the smaller box it has military equipment you know bridge layer 99 cents there's a medium tank for 59 cents and it has all this other military stuff listed let me zoom in and then, then we have soldiers over here as well again I don't know what I'm gonna really do with these probably I probably will do nothing with them uh, except for the A unit I think the A unit I will use if it if it runs I'll have to change the couplers out and as I said I'll hunt me down another different shell so I can paint it up and decorate it to match what I want to do with my layout again that's this set of AHM engines A and B and cars Oh, one other thing. I don't think any of the box cars or the caboose have weights in them. They're super light. So I might crack one of the box cars open and see if there's any weight. But regardless, I'm not going to use them. So I just probably stick them in a box and forget about them. All right, that's the latest acquisition for the HO scale trains. Thanks for viewing, guys. Have a great day.